Cancer, this is your love and relationship reading for the month of July. And this is for relationships that are newly developed. Uh, they're not firmly established yet. So in the very recent past, you had a judgment call to make. You wanted to perhaps rebirth a situation, a relationship, or even yourself. So you had some important decisions. Something had been laid to rest and you were reconsidering, revitalizing a situation. It could have been a relationship. Maybe you wanted a second chance at something. Uh, maybe you were trying to make some positive changes for yourself or uh, maybe your relationship was undergoing some kind of positive change. This was perhaps a new life that you were uh, looking at, new opportunities. And for some of you, maybe it was the rebirth of a legal situation, if, if that's the turn that your relationship was taking. So you had this really huge choice to make, and... You were wanting some kind of positive transformation. Maybe it was about re-entering the dating scene or uh, socializing more or even changing your appearance. But you were, maybe you had been in isolation for a while and you had to make a decision. Did you want to get back out there? Did you want to connect to others? Did you want to date? Or did you want to take your relationship in a new direction? So there was some kind of important choice to make a call to action where you were trying to bring back to life something that maybe appeared dead. But in the course of that, you could also have been questioning whether you were making the right choice, whether continuing in the direction that you were going or the path or certain course of action or behavior. And certain issues that maybe you thought were resolved between you actually started to resurface in some way. So you had to make some kind of decision. You had to face some facts that maybe you really didn't want to deal with. And it meant that it gave you also an opportunity to be better, to transform yourself. So you had a chance to be better than you were or perhaps prevent yourself from making a bigger mistake. And maybe it involved clearing the air between you and another person so that you could, you know, get rid of any misconceptions or misunderstandings. Or even if either of you had been accusing the other, get some kind of vindication. So you were trying to turn what may have seemed like a negative situation into something positive, And it required a great deal of patience on your part. And so, you know, if you were able to do that, that, that was great. But if not, you probably had a lot of things that uh, every time you tried to solve one thing, something else came up. And maybe you were just out of step. It could also be that this was a period where before you really firmly establish your relationship or move in another direction, you had a lot of loose ends to tie up. So in the past, you would have been trying to connect between your emotions and the facts so that you could improve your judgment call, make better decisions, and prevent yourself from making the wrong choice. Now, presently, you have memories and three of pentacles. So a lot of memories about pleasant experiences that you shared with this person. So this this may be somebody you already involved with since there are memories here, or maybe you're focused on creating new memories with the partner. So, again, you had to make a judgment about trying to revitalize a situation, uh, some aspect of your life. You looked back over these memories, and maybe it was memories of, for some of you, if you had a legal situation, memories that were tied to having to go to court to work out certain issues. For others of you, maybe this was face-to-face -face meetings that you had, getting together, hoping, uh, or maybe you're thinking of memories where you had, you know, solid cooperation between the two of you. Your memories, though, could be a little bit distorted through 
a rosy lens. There's a preference on your part, perhaps, to see the better part of a situation. And if this was revitalizing something, you had to take a look at what wasn't working. You were looking at the big picture and looking at where there might have been cracks or you you had come to terms with what was working for you and what was not working for you. Maybe there were some issues where either of you were a little bit too emotionally insecure or too needy or too demanding and that perhaps made an impact on the relationship. But maybe, you know, presently you're you're thinking about the past in a good way and considering ways that you can come together to cooperate for mutual goals. Maybe you can, some of you, maybe this is about, um, well, this is a new relationship, so you wouldn't be buying property, but maybe, maybe you're moving in together or uh, you're looking at ways to uh, move in a direction where you have mutual goals with one another. In the near future, you have friendship reversed and page of cups so you wanted to rebirth make a decision to change some things based on some good memories you had and perhaps you want to come together with this person to go over certain things your feelings have changed maybe at one point you wanted to be friends and now you no longer want to be friends or maybe friends are getting too involved in your relationship and they're having a negative impact or perhaps you made an attempt to have a romantic connection to somebody that you were friends with and it spoiled the friendship. Either way, there's a new situation occurring in the near future. For some of you, this is a friend returning back to the scene or revisiting certain issues connected to friendship. Um, so your feelings are changing. They were going in one direction and now they're shifting to a new direction. And you may be looking at certain things, certain characteristics, certain character traits, and reconsidering whether that's something that you feel attracted to or that's the kind of relationship that you want. In some cases you may feel like what you're discovering about another person or what you're seeing is a giant warning, a red flag, uh, or the last straw. Maybe you don't want to continue the relationship. So it all depends on you know, who you are and what your situation is, but your feelings will be changing in the near future tied to friendship and the kind of connection you have with this person. Now, the archetype that either of you could be acting out during the month of July um, may be in the light or the shadow, or you both could take turns playing this role. You have lover. So, in the light, this is great passion and devotion, unbridled appreciation of someone or something. In the shadow, though, this is obsessive passion that harms others, self-destructive devotion. So self-destructive, this is, you know, um, connecting to a person where it supersedes your own identity, your own needs. So either of you may be playing that role. Now what you don't know that your partner may be feeling is, I feel disrespected, you pushed my boundaries. So again, something is changing your feelings. You, you maybe try to see things in a positive light, but you're looking at a few cracks, some things that haven't gone as you'd hoped, or maybe some weak points. Uh, and maybe that's because you overstepped some boundary and you know, you've know you made this person upset. The lesson here is, I flower as I learn to love me. So it's very difficult to have a good relationship with someone if you don't first have a good relationship with yourself and the the more you spend time 
coming into your own, blossoming, uh, growing, the better equipped you are to have a relationship with someone else. The advice card is make an effort. So if you are on the fence about a judgment, whether you should give something another shot, you know you had a lot of good memories, maybe you know something got off track, the advice here is to, if it's a valuable relationship or an endeavor that's important to you, then you're going to have to put in the time and the energy or whatever is required to help this relationship sustain. Now, the underlying energy is very positive. You have new love, which means that new love is in the works or it's on its way or this is a new love relationship. Um, and so, you know, you could be dating or going out or romantic gestures. And maybe this is a new love that's going to end up where the two of you eventually get married or you're going to move in together. There's cause for celebration here. And it's you have one of the most fortunate cards in the deck which says that you can create beneficial change here if you're motivated by win-win situations where each of you feel that you're getting what you need out of this relationship. At the very least, this is going to be a month where you get to find out where you stand with your partner and where this relationship is actually headed. 